I'm Nate Hall. I'm Dante Spagnolo. I'm Will Zinman. Those stories tonight on 60 Minutes. Tonight on 60 Minutes, we'll be talking about youth sports. I personally got to sit down with a good friend from South Africa and got in an interview about how different it is growing up playing sports inside the United States and outside. And here is the interview I had with him. Hi, we are here with Hadi. Hadi, can you tell us a little about yourself? Okay, so my name is Adi Sar. I'm from Dakar, Senegal, West Africa. And I'm a senior and I play in the men's soccer team. So Hadi, our topic is youth sports. How does youth sports differ from here in the United States to back home? Okay, so a big difference that I see is that back home, the kids are, do not get the help from their parents. They're mostly playing in the streets with their friends. So up to nine, 10 years old, they're just playing for fun. And that is how they develop their skills. And after 11, 12, that's when they get into clubs and they actually train once a day, once uh, every day or once every two days. But in the US, I see that there are youth clubs where they participate in travel teams. They have tournaments everywhere. So it's, it is more organized here, but over there back home, it is disorganized until maybe 11, 12. But that gives the, the kids the chance to play for fun and develop their skills. And then I got to sit down with three athletes on campus, two hockey players and a lacrosse player to get their take on the subject. So what was your experience like in youth sports growing up, physical activities, how did you get involved, what sports did you play? So my, my experience was uh, you know, at an early age, when I was uh, in elementary school, I got involved in, in soccer uh, with, with the school and outside the school. And it was something that came out of just being part of a, a group of friends, right? So it was a, there was a social element to it, but then also to, to make sure that there was an opportunity to, to have some physical activity. Uh, back then, there was less technology around, so we uh, uh, had plenty of distractions with being active out there. But uh, playing soccer, playing uh, hockey uh, was about more of the initially the, the social team dynamic and then as being part of it you learn a lot of the things um, about being part of a team and, and uh, contributing to a, a collective effort that's it yeah <laughs> that's why it's kind of a and then I got to sit down with three athletes on campus two hockey players and a lacrosse player to get their take on the subject hey guys I'm here with Joey's on the men's hockey team Joe I'm just gonna ask you about sports in your childhood growing up what your experiences were like and how you got involved yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, I started out playing hockey when I was really young. Uh, I don't know, like three years old, I was on the ice with uh, my uncle on his back, backyard rink. So that's kind of how I got involved with that, fell in love with it right away. Um, elementary school, I played soccer and track and field in that. And obviously, track carried out through high school. And soccer, I stopped when I was like 10, maybe, just because hockey and soccer uh, didn't really go over too well together, especially when I was playing competitive in both. Um, but yeah, I love, love playing sports growing up and obviously hockey something that's going to stick with me for a while. Hey guys, I'm here with John. I'm just going to ask you uh, what your experiences were like in sports during your childhood. What kind of motivated you to play those sports and how you got involved in them? Um, well, I played uh, ice hockey and lacrosse uh, growing up. Um, I started out with ice hockey when I was about the age of three and I started because my brother played. So, uh, you know, I kind of just followed suit and, you know, I loved it ever since I started playing. And then lacrosse, I started playing around grade four, I think. I just wanted, you know, something else to do other than just playing hockey all the time. And, you know, I really liked lacrosse and ended up playing it all the way through high school. So how was your experience different uh, from playing hockey and lacrosse? Was it similar in many ways or? Um, well, hockey was always like my number one sport, the one I focused on the most, but you know, lacrosse I kind of used as like a escape to uh, uh, like get away from hockey like during the spring and uh, so I wasn't play overdoing it like playing it so much but uh, I learned to love lacrosse just as much I think as much as I like I spoke to a nice kid on campus named by the name of Connor Woods he used to practice Taekwondo at, an, at a young age 
And he, he shared with me how it impacted his life even today. So Connor, I've, I've, you told me a lot that you used to do Taekwondo at, when you were growing up. Tell me about that experience and what that really meant to you. So when I was like, it was like years ago, I was kind of like weak and you know, vulnerable because I was uh, kind of like not as strong as I was on. But after I, like today, not only I am physically strong, I am also like, my mental awareness has also strengthened somewhat. And lastly, um, what what allows you to keep continuing to do that? Uh, pretty much my determination to succeed through like anything, especially like um, like life as a obstacle. And we are back here to talk about the similarities and differences that we have learned from our interviews. So the biggest similarities we were able to, to find between the interviews is that most, most people are gonna join the sports which their friends are playing, and most get involved through, through school sports. So when they're joining schools, they tend to play uh, the sports that all their friends are playing, and that's the easiest way for them to get involved. A few differences that we have learned is that in internationally, they do not have as much funding as the U.S. do. They do not also have as much opportunities as we do, as we are in elementary schools playing through clubs and got to play with the, like the YMCA and stuff like that. And also the social media aspect when talking about the older generation. They were not able to promote or do anything about social media because it wasn't around and popular then. But nowadays, everyone promotes through social media. I'm Will Zitnick, signing the crew off for 60 Minutes.